welcome my name is Prue or Prue LaRue and welcome to today's chatty get ready with me today I'm just gonna talk about all the things that have been going on over the last couple months and do my makeup I'm not gonna mention the products as much I might just you might see me pop them up so that I remember to put them in the description box so I've been working on doing a wet test because I picked up the new heat of beauty spray and I actually have a bit of a spray problem with all of the like with setting sprays because I have really oily skin I have fell in love with the Urban Decay D Slick spray and I've just been trying to compare all the formulas today I wanted to try my just to do the way test so I've already put in a few and then I want to try the Huda Beauty Boss one a bit more because I've tried all the other ones quite a bit the only thing I will say about the Huda Beauty one is that if you are thinking of buying it you have to go smell it smell it it yeah like spray it on your face and see what you think of the smell because the first time I put that on that was intense so I just want to spend a bit more time doing that so that means I'm going to do a really basic look mm, well it won't make it too much difference setting spray all the other looks in it I've done for work so it's just a base and blush and this one I'm going to do bronzer <laughs> getting fancy I'm also testing out sponges <laughs> So a lot of you do know that I work as a registered nurse in Australia. Uh, specifically, I work in intensive care. But recently I've been doing a different role. And I just haven't been good at filming and working this other role. Because I'm used to having a lot more days off and a lot more time to edit, record and all that good stuff for you guys. Because I was working five days a week and quite stressed. My weekends became like my chill out time. And then I've been quite sick as well. Like when we first got back from our trip, I had laryngitis and I've got a cold right now. Yay for being sick. So I'm back to my normal role as of tomorrow, uh, which will be nice. But, you know, I will miss the students for a bit. But I'm doing that again in September. The final week of having students, I finally got better at filming. Figures. And, yeah, I guess like, you know, so for me when I'm have nursing students what it means I work in um, I'm lucky enough to work in the role of being a clinical facilitator which means that I facilitate the nursing placements so when you study nursing you have to do clinical placements on the ward on wards or in ICU or like specialty areas and I have been looking after the nursing students doing that so you have to do this clinical placement and on it you get a facilitator which was what I was doing and they help, like, they come check on you every day. They make sure you're wearing the right uniform. They make sure that you are doing everything within your role. Then if anything goes wrong in your placement, you can call them and they will come and fix it up for you. Or they will, like, what else do we do? Come do meds with you and assess you and you have to sort of hand over your patients to them every day. And that can be quite a lot for the students, especially if it's your first time doing that sort of thing. You know, because it is intimidating. It's quite stressful for me because I'm assessing people, which like who likes to assess anyone. But you've got to make sure that they're safe to practice when they are going through the degree and they know what to expect all the time. I did enjoy the challenge that it is for yourself in learning how to, you know, like talk to lots of different people, uh, talk to all the staff that they're working with, talk with the students and make them feel not scared of you to be able to share with you what's going on on their placement. Because you, for each one, like, so I had eight students each time. So it's quite a lot of people to keep an eye on, plus the stuff they're working with, plus the patients they're working with. And you just spend your whole day, like, running around after them all and worried. And then if you get sick, it's really hard. Um, you just can't really... You can you can have sick days, but for me, a lot of my groups were all only for two weeks. So I had one group for two weeks, and then I had precepted a student, which is where they followed my shifts for two weeks, had a week break, and then I had two weeks of eight students it became seven and it's just a lot it's a lot of different people a lot of different things you're communicating with the university that they're coming from which is like our college is that how people in america do nursing degree i don't know you guys are confusing over there it's a lot and then i've been sick and we got back from my trip and i have been so excited i really want to do so now that i'm finished i've been thinking about content that i can create regularly and really set like a good schedule for myself so that I can keep up filming and stuff because I do love this. 
uh, I just love the community that I've got here and I love the community of all the people I've met like I had so much fun doing the Pokemon collab that was hilarious and like I love Annette I would have never met her if it wasn't for doing YouTube and I just couldn't I couldn't imagine not doing this right now I definitely want to keep doing this but I want to try and have a bit more structured content and a bit more like regularity of what I'm doing where am I going with this <laughs> yeah I really just want to have a bit more idea does that make sense I want to be more more frequent yeah I'd like to be able to post more frequently I don't think I'm ever gonna be someone who becomes like a really big youtuber I mean I doubt I'll ever hit 1000 and if I do it oh my god uh, that would be very cool but I'm also happy just in my little lane having fun makeup and I love all you people who watch me and enjoy that and it for me it's such a nice break from what I do in my everyday job like I just really value being able to do this that I don't want to stop doing it and it is a stress relief for me it's funny when you know like when I was facilitating it was like oh, oh my god like how can I keep up this up with the videos like I'm so stressed like I've got so much going on and then after we did the Pokemon collab I was and created that and then I did the look the next day and I was like you know, I forgot how much I just love playing with colorful makeup and how much I love hanging out here and talking to you guys like I am right now this for me is the best stress relief and I need to be doing it more regularly because it really just makes me happy uh, there's no other way to say it. I mean, there is like extra stress as well because I feel like I've become more aware of all my flaws, which is quite funny. Like my brows today. Oh my god, I was gonna go get them waxed and then I I just couldn't be bothered. <clears throat> what a terrible reason. I really do value being able to do this and as a creative outlet. It's such an amazing thing to me, and it's something you know. I never thought it would be like this for me, and I never thought I would feel this way about it and I didn't realize I felt this way about it either until I was on the other side of it and going oh I'm so stressed and then realizing like actually you know I love doing this did the highlighter even work I tried oh and so I went to Mecca today and I picked up a whole heap of new products to play with I'm gonna use so I've been wear testing all of my cream eyeshadows as well, which I do actually have a lot of them. So I'm going to keep moving on. But I had a Stila one. And this is the new Stila one. And it wore terribly, but it's because it's really old. So I decided to buy a new one. And I know Annette loves the new ones that they've just come out with. So this is Deception from Stila. And this is the brand new one from the Mecca, Mecca Land release. It's like a rose gold. It's got a bit of hollow in it like this is this is a shade that I am obsessed with this is what we're gonna be putting on my eyes today it looks blue when I look at it so I got to decide what we're gonna do I also went to Inglot and I finally finished I'll show you the one that's got the new my eyeshadow palettes so these two are full now the labels are incorrect now so I have to go and get the demo out and relabel everything but you know I love doing that so that's fine but I just haven't got around to it today yet I picked up one of these new heavy metal metal liners. Uh, Mecca have the after party for the Mecca Land thing on the weekend, and I wasn't gonna go. Then I was talking to them today, and then I was just like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna go." So I've got night shift Friday night, and then I'm gonna I've booked in for 4 p.m. Saturday, and it's to learn how to do a glitter eye. How exciting! So this is my new heavy metal, and I've got Disco Daydream glitter it's like a hollow it's pretty and I have been wanting to play with some more liners so that's exciting my old Fenty gloss bomb died and I was like oh, I need a new one but then still I have released a whole new line of lip glosses sorry I said I was gonna talk about things but I'm talking about makeup but this was $23 and I was just curious to try a new formula there's a little bit of grit to it but like it's nice this is yeah sticking around for a little bit but I ran into the I was looking at the Jessica Rabbit CRT collection which looks a bit shit to be honest and like the, the, the eyeshadows just didn't look like they swatched they were really like really hard in the pan and the the highlighter did look beautiful but I wasn't gonna pay that much money so I picked up 
Ciade have these glitter lipsticks. And this is Topaz. And it's Glitter Storm Lipstick. So let me just rub off that lip gloss I just put on. So I don't know if these are new, if this is a new colour or what, but it was right next to the Jessica Rabbit stuff. And a part of me still feels sad about not buying more of the Too Faced glitters when they were out. Because I just love that shimmery, glittery lip look. I mean, it's still like one of my favourites. Yeah, the Too Faced glitters. Let's just swatch them next to each other. So I've sort of been on the hunt for a, like familiar, a similar formula to this. So this was, what is it, the Too Faced 20? Yeah, TF20. Lip gloss here, lip here. Let's put the Ciade one next to it. It's hard. And then I just really love these really shiny, glimmery formulas. I do have the Huda Beauty one. This is After Party. Which is funny. So yeah, so I'm going to the Mecca After Party thing. And that'll be fun. Uh, so this is next to the Huda Beauty as well. This is just like, I love this kind of formula. No problem. The Huda Beauty one I found quite chunky. But that just watched really beautifully. So I don't know. I'll try it again. Anyway, what do you think of the colour? I'm kind of into it. Alright, well we should move into eyeshadow. So, a long time ago I did go, and you don't need to put down a eyeshadow primer with these, I believe. Which is a bit strange for me. Let's go on with a nice purple look. I'm pretty sure this is the right shade. It's 3, 3, 4. I'm really like in an Inglot mood today. I've got highlighter blush. I always feel like I'm going to forget a step. It's the worst. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking forward to that on Saturday. I'll film like a haul. I should probably have been shopping at Sephora. And like I can do a full haul of everything I've talked about then too. So all I've been doing is putting a like thin layer of foundation. Just so my it doesn't look too crazy. And I know I've now got like a few nurses who watch me. I think. Anyway. I get the occasional comment. So I'd love to know if you are a nurse what kind of nursing you do do. Uh, there's so many different kinds of nurses. We are everywhere. And one thing I have thought about and to play with occasionally is whether or not I'd want to start like a nurse channel. Ugh, but they're a little work to be honest. I feel like I'm in a lot of ways. It's just more getting the references. That's what holds me up. With makeup it's a lot simpler because you're not looking at studies. You're not, you know, checking stuff. So while I could make some basic content, I could also do it. But I was thinking of also maybe just bringing it up over here and just doing the occasional nursing based stuff because for me it's pretty straightforward. But I don't think I could do a full channel dedicated to it. Yeah, this is the kind of shade that's perfect for that topper. Let's blend it out. Hmm, I like you. Uh, so let me know what you think about that in general. Should I talk about nursing more or should I stuff about and keep to the makeup? So I am glad I got over like my stress of, you know, filming and stuff while I was looking after the students because I have them again. They're there this year. I've got six weeks of looking after nursing students in September. If I didn't, if I did all right. <laughs> no, I think I definitely would go down. Uh, but they, we send out surveys at the end uh, where they can talk about what they're, if they like to or not. And that is a bit stressful. But I mean, I assess them. But at the same time, like my assessment is something that I sit down with them and talk to them about how they went and what they thought and where they could go better and like what sort of crap. Whereas they're a normal survey, so they could say, oh, it's not, it's not the thing. So I don't know. I just get really anxious about that stuff. And that's what was holding me up with filming here is because I'm so anxious and felt so, I was just worried that I wasn't doing a good enough job. So it was hard to bring myself here where this is something that I just I thoroughly love and enjoy and I shouldn't stop doing it for silly reasons. And I'm nearly up to my like official one year on YouTube. The 29th of May is my one uh, 2017 is, would be my two year my two years oh god my two year anniversary of starting this channel which is kind of crazy to think about. Alright so while we're here I'm just gonna because I got the palette open I'm gonna go into one of my new Press pigment shades. Well, I don't know which one it is, but it's the purple one. This one here. It's tre quite treacherous to get it out. I'll try and look it up and have it down in the thing. Oh, I'm sorry, I've lost my train of thought. Yeah, so my two year, my two year anniversary of YouTube. 
So I initially did start a channel. Like initially this channel was named like Try It Chica. It was going to be all about me trying makeup. Because I was watching all the big YouTubers and I was getting super into it. And let's use the same brush. I'm just going to go in with that lavender, the 344 four, under my eye. Uh, and I was buying it and then I was trying to learn and play with it. If you go like really far back on my Instagram, you can see some of my original, uh, me just playing with it. It used to be called Trat Chica. I think I filmed like, I filmed and uploaded two or three videos and then I put them all on private. Um, just cause I wasn't, well, in other ways I wasn't really ready. I wasn't very good. Alright, so I'm going to try doing like a net thing where she goes like on the brush. So I've got my little brush. So, and like I think I was watching them and I was just like, you know, I don't really enjoy these. I'm not very good at like what I'm doing. And then I started this, I, like I came back to it again. And this is where we, we are now. Uh, so June 26th, I think, is my one year anniversary from uploading my first palette collection video. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to do a to do a one year uh, updated palette collection because it's definitely grown, and I I need to count them. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. I need to know how many's here, and I need to sort through them all. I actually have a lot of palettes that I've bought and then uh, never used because I'm just horrible like that. And I still haven't thoroughly gone through my makeup collection at, that I bought from overseas. Because I wasn't... The other thing is when I was a counselor student, I was so stressed that I would just get up in the mornings, watch Annette's video at like 6, 6 a.m., have my coffee, and then go to... And sorry, when I say Annette, I mean Annette's makeup core. I'd watch whatever she's uploaded overnight, and then uh, have my coffee, chill out with her, and then get ready to go to work. So I wasn't really wearing makeup either uh, because it's just, I don't know, when I'm feeling stressed, it's one of the last things I want to do, but it's one of the things I should really do do because it does make me feel so much better. It's not about looking better for other people. It's more about me having fun with my creativity and enjoying my makeup collection because what happens when I'm stressed and not, don't play with it, I then get stressed out that I haven't played with my makeup, then I feel bad that I haven't played with my makeup, and then I don't want to play with it because I don't want to feel bad about it. Which, yes, is stupid, I agree. But it, it just becomes like a spiral, like that's anxiety for you, you spiral. So I wasn't really wearing makeup for like a good couple of weeks, and yeah, <laughs> I have nothing good to say for myself at all about this one. It just, you know, stopped being super fun. And then I've sort of found it again. So I'm so grateful to all the girls I did the Pokemon Go collab with, the Pokemon collab, the Vaporeon Eevee Illusion back thing. And I will be forever grateful for them because that collab really made me step out of my comfort zone and push myself with a look. And it just, it brought back that I, I love doing this and I'd forgotten. I. And it's so stupid, isn't it? Like anxiety is just such a stupid, stupid thing. Um, but unfortunately, because I've been playing with more makeup, I've had more reasons to be like, I need to buy it all. So I've been playing a bit of catch, catch, catch them all lately. Oh yes. So I've got the next, next faux white in seashell. Yeah, because doing that collab just meant the absolute world to me. Because it just threw myself completely out of everything I've been telling myself. And that's something that sometimes that's like all well, that's what works for me sometimes is being surprised and forcing yourself to do something that you're maybe not super comfortable doing. What is mascara? And then I think we done. Are you judging me for not having the correct shade? Well, yeah, it's probably fair. I think I'll probably will do my hair after chatting to you guys and getting this all off my chest. Thank you so much for sticking around. I feel like I'm gonna straighten my hair. So let's go in. I just saw, I was just watching Samantha March's um, 20 Things I Love and she mentioned the Nars Climax mascara. I'm like, I know I love the packaging, but do I love the product? So I'm just going to go in with this again. 
let's kill the lashes so yeah I've gone a bit crazy with buying makeup and I know I said in my video the other day the bad and the boring tag from Lisa Lobotomy which if you haven't done that tag yet like if you have done that tag let me know please comment um the Colourpop screen kind of boring me but then they released the blue moon palette they came for me what was it? What happened? So they had the 30% off sale and I wanted some more eyeliners. I want to try some of the neon eyeshadows because I kicked some out of my Colourpop palette from my makeup roulette. So I ordered some more of them. And then the next day, they released the 12 moon eyeshadow palette. No, the blue moon. Is that how it, is that how it happened? Let me, let me check my order histories. Yeah. So they sent out an email was it? it must have been on the 23rd of May for me saying that 30% off six hours only for Memorial Day and I was like alright cool this is the perfect time I'll pick up those eyeshadows that I want and some eyeliners and then the next day they had 30% off again and they released a blue, a blue eyeshadow palette and blue is my favourite colour of all time I love blue it's like one of the main reasons that FabFitFun box is still here because it's blue. Also, it holds my shame of Kat Von D products. <laughs> so, I made another order, didn't I? And I've been really wanting to buy more of the Super Beauty Hydro Liners after playing with blue steel so much the other week. But, um, what I came to the conclusion of is that I could have the pigments from Oh yes, anyways. That I could have the pigments from ColourPop, which are far cheaper. And they were 30% off, so they were like $4.80 US. And mix them with Dual Line and make eyeliners like that. So I'm going to try doing a budget friendly way. And I had to justify $50 worth of product to get free shipping again. So I've got two orders from ColourPop coming sometime. And what else have I got? Yeah. And then. I bought like the Huda Beauty Boss thing. Then I went to Sephora today. Finished my Inglot palette. What other makeup have I bought? The Anastasia Beverly Hills Alyssa Edwards collab came out. And I am triggered because I like I love. I fully stan Alyssa Edwards. I love her in. Well to be honest I didn't love her in her first season of RuPaul's Drag Race. But I do go back and watch that season a lot. Because it has a door in it. And like who doesn't love a door? Sorry if you don't watch Drag Race. And. I really enjoyed her in All Stars. She was really good. And then Dancing Queen, the reality TV show that she released on Netflix. I fell in love with her from that. She is just so hardworking, so sweet, so caring. Like, I mean, she's extra. But I had no idea she had this Beyond Belief dance company, which she is one of, I think, like one of the top performing Texas children dancing schools. And it was just so cool to see all that stuff, all the drag race stuff. And she's just so busy. And and then I loved the palette that they came out with. And I'm so glad I didn't buy Riviera. I feel like with Anastasia, you need to wait for the second release and not buy the first one. Because they released, what was it? Sultry and then Soft Glam. And then they have released Riviera and now this Alyssa Edwards palette. Which they do seem to be quite similar and you think they would spread them out so we wouldn't be onto them, but they don't. And I think I'm even going to order online from the Anastasia Beverly Hills website page because I kind of want that fan. I was eyeing off the mirror but it said limited quantities and delayed ordering. So I don't know, it'd be fun to be able to get like a full looks thing up with it. And then, oh, going back to talking about my palette collection. I was thinking of starting a series of First Impression Fridays where I use all the parts that I haven't used a lot uh, because I could make that go for ages. But really this channel is always going to be quite heavy on eyeshadow because eyeshadow is like my love. Like I love, I love, I love eyeshadow. Did I get the bottom lashes well enough on this other eye? Yeah, this is the thing. The NARS Climax I find quite clumping. It's very thickening. So I think if you want thick lash... This is good, but it's not lengthening. Like Bad Girl Bang will lengthen your lashes like no tomorrow. See, I've just made clumpy lashes and now I look like I'm a unique presenter. Um, I love you if you laughed at that. Yeah. 
See, this one's just made it look really... Let me freaking it. I feel like this side looks, like, spidery. This side's okay. But I'm going to go in and try and fix it. But while we're looking at the shade... So talking about bad girl bang, let's chuck that one in and see if we can fix it. This side is quite dry, so I don't think I'm going to get very far. All right, sorry, I, I somehow managed to fill up my card. I'm going to see if I'm back. So this side is very dry. I don't think I'll get very far. Let's just try and fix a bit of this clumpiness. All right, I pretty much give up. I feel like I've done lots of weird things to my lashes now. And I'm gonna I'm gonna stop there. It's gone too far. Sometimes you gotta know when to stop. So let's see if we can show you the beautiful duochrome. That is on my eye right now. Hopefully they got it. All right, so yeah, I think I'm done. Maybe I should just go, I'm going to go do my hair and be back. Let's do a spritz. You can hang out for that. We need another makeup forever. Part two, which I should have done before Oscar. All right, bucket, I'm going to do my hair quickly and I shall return. All right, I think that's the finished look. I have done my hair. I'm going out to see with one of my friends this afternoon. She's getting a tattoo. I don't even know what it's of. So you can hang out with her while she does that. We might go see the Elton John movie, but I don't even know if it's in the store. Sorry, I'm just checking. My grays have been really bad. I have like a, this horrible patch right back here somewhere. I need to dye my hair, but I can't be bothered. Uh, such is life. Anyway, thank you so much for sticking around, listening to me ramble on about all the things that have been going on. I am really excited to kick it up, get filming, get sorted. And I just really, I really appreciate and adore you all. Thank you so much for being here. Mwah.